Li Yun and Yao Jun are factory workers in 1980s China when tragedy strikes their small family. Over the course of the next three decades, their lives change as China changes, their fortunes dictated by the shifting cultural and political landscape of their country. <laughs> so Long My Son defies a simple synopsis. Following the story of Li Yun and Yao Jun, the film jumps around in time without warning or explanation, shifting from the 80s to the 90s to the noughties and back again. There's a sprawling cast of other characters too. Two other couples, their children, their shifting agendas and motivations, and a few major shifts in location, notably from their hometown and the factory, to a harbourside shack in a small town in Fujian province. While the film jumps around a lot in its complicated timeline, the story doesn't feel fuzzy. Rather, the choice to present the film non-linearly allows it to focus more clearly on the emotional story of the characters, and director Wang Xiaoshai is gifted with two great actors in his lead roles. Yong Mei and Wang Jingchun. Yong is a very still presence in the film, often lending just the slightest hint of the emotional turmoil her character undergoes. And there's plenty of that, believe me. The film borders on melodramatic at some points, and it's a testament to the writing and acting that it feels believable at every moment. Like all truly skilled actors, Yong is able to communicate volumes with a single expression, and Xiao Shai's camera settles on her face continuously throughout the film. Wang Jingchun as Yao Jun has a more clearly dynamic role, with his character metamorphosing from warm and friendly to tired, withdrawn, and almost alcoholic. Throughout that arc, his simplicity as a man, in his beliefs and needs what he wants from the world, anchors the film in a painful reality. There's a pervasive sense of grief and regret in the film, often unspoken. At the earliest chronological point in the movie, the three couples gather together to listen to contraband music, and after it's stopped by the most politically committed of those present, they listen instead to a version of Ord Lang Syne. It's a song they learned in the countryside after they were shipped out due to the Cultural Revolution. That reminiscence gives them pause as they remember the hardship and the people who were lost then. <laughs> And the tune of the song is repeated throughout the film in a refrain that brings us back to that theme of unspoken grief and regret around the political changes that have happened in China. Even with its expansive three hour runtime, So Long My Son is still unable to cover the vastness of cultural change within China, and so instead grabs hold of tiny moments of grief and remembrance from ordinary people, using it to illustrate the wider cost of colossal change. Ultimately, there's too much to talk about. Some things have to remain unsaid. And so, a longing look back from the bus as it rounds the corner, or a view from the grave of a child, or a padlock left open on a chain, these poetic images have to communicate everything to the viewer. Nowhere is the film more powerful than in its damning treatment of the one-child policy and the political fervour surrounding it. It's essential to the film as the complexity of family is so important to the emotional fabric of the story. But throughout, it's that poetic imagery that really explores the emotional extent of change. Near the end of the film, Yao Jun spots a statue of Mao waving and points it out to Li Yun. They wave back, smiling, but by then they've driven too far away, and the statue is obscured by signs for a mall. It's images like that that really communicate that theme of there being so much change in so little time. So Long My Son is a three hour long Chinese language drama about the death of a child. It's a difficult ask for an audience, there's no doubt about that. But this profoundly moving, beautifully crafted film is well worth your time and will fill your thoughts for a long while after watching. That's it from me, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about this rich, sorrowful film. Bye for now. <laughs>